All right, lads. Do you want to just get the hoover now? Yep. All right, boys. Take that off, is it? So you've probably all seen these. Gnarly. They're gnarly, isn't they? They are, yeah. Hundreds. 35. So we just cut this chimney out, okay? Then I topped and tailed it with that. Brilliant, boys. Brilliant. And that, I've got to get these loose bricks out. The only trouble is, not loose bricks, sorry. These ones that are spalled. The only trouble is, it's all wanting to come loose. But you see these things on the internet, don't you? And you might look up online and no one's really done anything. You think, well, that's probably a load of old shit. So I took a, took a punt on them. The punt was worth it. I think if you've got bullet hard pug, you're in trouble. But apparently you're in trouble with a bullet hard pug with the Arbitex, and that's 12, 1500 quid. That was 20, 19 quid, not 20 quid. No, I can't remember, 12, something like that. Absolutely brilliant, boys. So this is definitely the way forward, topping and tailing. Definitely. And that. Saves 1500 quid on a Arbitec. So, this is a little job we told you about yesterday. We're doing so, we just got to cut 20 bricks out of this, repoint it. <laughs> Terrible brick, Heather's LBC flatten. Worst brick in the world ever. More commonly known as the shite of a dog. But yeah, those tools, I recommend them, boys. Now, I got them on Amazon simply because I knew this job was coming up on Saturday and I got them delivered to my house yesterday. Otherwise, I would have shot round and found them cheaper. We'll try to. But I don't know if they are. They must be cheaper somewhere else, wouldn't they? Yeah. So, boys, if you've got a job where you've got to get these out and you don't want to, if you can't hire an Arbitec, I don't know if they hire them, uh, you don't want to spend twelve, fifteen hundred pound. Try them straight, screwed onto your your four inch or your five inch angle grinder. That's the bat phone. Away you go. What do you reckon, Nuss? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's very good. Got to do an interview techniques because you have. Well, it's a lovely day. The sun is shining. We're on a roof. All right, Eminus. Yeah, yeah, I cut this chimney out in about 20 minutes. Top and tailed it in about 10. The worst part is the fact that we want to get the other stuff coming loose. And this here, Nuss, look, there was a strap around there. Now that looks like that's been cut, isn't it? Short. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm not sure, to be honest, if I meant to have a look at the state of them on the other side. Oh, shit, nice. Sorry. Just drop me out. Yeah. That's for that strap, nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I don't know whether we should take it. How the fuck's that? They cut that out, haven't they? Yeah, that's fine. It's too tight. Oh, there you go. More repointing. Right then, that's in it. So we're going to carry on, get the rest of these bricks out. Oh, the other thing, lads, quickly. When I did the thirty, when I did the thirty-five mil bit, topping and tailing, Nuss was off buying bricks. I held the cutter, 
with the cutter and I held this next to it and I got 90% of the dust. This is only since I started doing that and it was a bit of a struggle to hold it and do it at the same time. So you can do it nearly dust free as well. So I roll. I've gone from the worst bricklayer in the world for giving a shit about dust in my lungs to a PPE expert. Fully qualified. Oh, my own one. Not a black cat, though, are they? No. Well, I've got some black spray paint. <laughs> This is mine. I've got Lusa one too. Brilliant. Right, boys. It's in a little bit. Pug up.